Well, happy Valentine's Day to you. It is the 14th of February and you've clicked on to today's edition of Vogan's Views on the USA. Now, we've got, of course, a lot of focus on the potential weekend storm across the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. Right now, folks, I'm really still not buying into this idea and I'll show you why in just a second. But you can see here off the GFS, a very pathetic amount of snowfall. Uh, I, I, like This is by the time we get out to Sunday. So between now and Sunday, you know, for the next 72 hours, this is all the GFS can muster. Really not a big deal. I'm struggling to see it. I may still have, a st I said this in the post, I might have to eat my words. I might still be wrong, but I just don't see it right now. Even the ECMWF, the Met Office website, um, Met Office model, and uh, you know other ones, the the NAM, uh, you know some of them are are trying to grasp, but I, I think it draws here. I think the system itself doesn't have the right components in terms of a negatively tilted trough, things like that. They're, they're just, it doesn't seem to be all merging together just nicely uh, like you would want to see for a major snowstorm. But there is um, uh, sources out there that are buying into the idea of a major storm between DC and Boston. Right now, I just don't see it, unfortunately. As much as I would like to see a big storm for you, uh, I just don't, I, I just really don't see it. This is the ECMWF and this is the 500 millibar. Notice here the trough. This is by the time we get out to Saturday. Yes. Yes, the trough axis is back towards the M M Mississippi Valley, okay? So you, you're saying to yourself, it's not too far east. However, it's generally neutral, if not arguably positive. And so therefore, any system that does ride down the northwest jet, round the base of the trough, the, uh, the tilt isn't right. It would mean that the system, anything that does right here, look at the orientation of the isobars. They're going basically due northeast. Not conducive, unfortunately, I don't think. I think the system, if it gets around to the other side of the trough, it's going to then quickly just escape straight out to sea. The, the, the trough you want to see more negatively tilted, therefore more angled in a kind of more, if you're looking at the chart, more left. So therefore, once it rounds the base of the trough, it gets hooked in, back in towards the coast, pulling the moisture in. And of course, with the cold air coming down from the northwest, heavy snow would break out from this region anywhere from, you know, D.C. right up until the Boston area. I just simply don't think the orientation of that trough looks conducive. Now, by the time we get out to Sunday here, you can still see that the, the trough axis is pushing in towards the coastal plain of the, the east coast. But again, the orientation isn't right. You can see here, heck of a trough. Certainly a lot of cold air is going to be coming down this weekend, that's for sure all the way into North Carolina. But look at that there, it's still either neutral, if not positive. And uh, anything that does try and develop here, rather than getting hooked back in towards the coastline again, it's going to go straight out into the North, uh, the North Atlantic. I just simply don't think this is the right scenario, unfortunately, this time around. But plenty of cold air is coming down, that's for sure. That being said, once this system pushes through, if there is anything, and the cold air, of course, establishes itself, the GFS for next week is producing quite a heck of a storm, that is for sure. This is by the time we get out to next Friday, so it's a good bit out yet. Look at this here, look at the swath of snow right through the Midwest. Uh, you know, uh, that is a pretty substantial amount of snow, anywhere from uh, six inches to as much as perhaps 16 or 17 inches through uh, through eastern Nebraska, Iowa, northern Illinois, Chicago could be getting a batter, and, and then, of course, uh, through the uh, northern Ohio Valley. By the time we get out to the day on uh, later Friday, look at this here. Look at the swath of the snow through Pennsylvania, upstate New York, New York City, right in the divide line between, you know, anywhere from uh, eight or nine inches to as much as, you know, oh, what, over a foot of snow. That system is something worth paying attention here to here. If that materializes, that is one heck of a snowstorm stretching from eastern Nebraska all the way to New York City by the, to the, by the late stage of next week. So certainly a very, very interesting setup coming up. I think it's going to be more cold than anything uh, with regards to snow this weekend. But look out next weekend. It looks as if we could see a major storm 
at the latter part of the the upcoming week. And finally, uh, the GFS um, long range uh, temperature anomalies. I've been saying this now several days now. You can see here for the first eight days, plenty of uh, cold air across the northern tier. Look at the whole country covered in blue. Very cold pattern setting up for the latter stages of this month. Could actually be the coldest end to February in several years, I think, for the US. Uh, by the way things are going and finally for the 8 to 16 day it hasn't lost its cold look at that there the bullseye right over the midwest and uh, you know you can see some slight warming across the west but a heck of a cold pattern over the next 20 days that's for sure across the us hope you have a good evening wherever you are bye for now